Hello, welcome to Bucket List Time with Wayne and Ann. Today we're at Otter Falls, which is in Watauga County, North Carolina. The name of the little town is Seven Devils, and the physical address is 825 Skyland Drive. And if you need a map to the falls, we'll put a link in the description with a Google map. But once you get there, the parking lot is kind of small, so uh, if it's a busy time, you may have to wait for a parking place. But uh, there's four different parts of the trail that you can see on the sign. And I would recommend if you get there, take a picture with your cell phone or whatever of the sign. You may want that later as you're walking down the trails. But there's four different parts. The red and the blue are loops. You can go either way you want to. The yellow or the orange one takes you down to the actual falls. And the yellow one goes to a little picnic area. So we'd love for you to come and join us as we hike down to Otter Falls. Just be aware that this is rated as a strenuous hike. It's about 1.2 miles round trip. It's really important that you're, if you're doing this hike in the summer that you bring lots of water and you'll want to wear really good hiking boots. As you leave the parking lot and descend down the trail to Otter Falls, uh, you don't go very far till you'll be at this point, and off in the distance you can see a little trail, and that's the trail that you'll actually be on in just a little bit. There's a nice little stream beside the trail, which makes uh, for a pleasant walk. It's certainly not the main feed for the waterfall. The fall itself is fed by Valley Creek. Benches have been provided along the trail, everywhere there's an intersection, and also at viewing areas. As you approach the waterfalls you'll see the cascades first as indicated by the first red arrow. The second arrow indicates the location of the falls themselves. And we'll get a better view of the waterfalls here in just a moment. Just a little further on down the trail you get to this point where you can kind of see the falls and you can also see the viewing area that is just at the falls which is really nice. Uh, the way the trail curves around. You'll see this point before you get to the, the viewing platform, uh, but it's a real nice view of the waterfall. And as you get a little closer, you still haven't gotten to the platform, but uh, you know you just get beautiful, beautiful views of the falls up through here. And then as you pre progress on a little bit further, you got this. Uh, it's just a little bit above the viewing platform, but it was a nice you know photo opportunity. And then down below the platform, the trail continues down Valley River, Valley Creek, Valley Creek, and uh, more views of the waterfall. It's just beautiful. And just on below this, there's other little waterfall that's not really named, but uh, it's a cute little waterfall as well. We visited the falls in April, and the red trillium was in bloom. Uh, the red trillium is one of the many beautiful wildflowers of North Carolina. So this was just a little added bonus to our trip. And this little stack of rocks, if you've done much hiking in the mountains of North Carolina, I'm sure you have seen uh, something similar. And we always get a chuckle when we see these little stacks because we heard a child say to his parents, look, it's an Indian artifact. Now take a moment to enjoy our videos of the waterfalls. After enjoying your time at the falls, it's, it's time to head back toward the parking area. And I put the map back up here. Uh, when we ventured down to Otter Falls, 
we took one half of the, the red loop and one half of the blue loop going down. And on the way back, we took the other half of those two loops. So we got to see more of the trail and more of the nature area. Thank you for visiting Bucket List Time with Ann and Wayne. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, we hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel and clicking like and sharing with your friends.